I'm Carly Banks, and I don't like to wash my hair. There are many things that I enjoy doing in the morning as part of my daily self-love routine, and washing my hair and doing all of the prep work is definitely not one of them. As you can see today, I'm rocking a little bit of grease, and it's okay, honey, I still love you. Well, you know what? All in all, apart from the greasy root situation, and that really shows up when you have bangs, my hair is not dirty. I'm, I'm not working out in the dirt all day. I'm not rolling around in the mud. I'm uh, not even hardly breaking a sweat most of the time. So I don't need to be constantly washing my hair and getting a buildup of shampoo and chemicals that are absorbing into my luscious locks. So today I'm going to show you what I use on a day-to-day -day basis uh, in between showers which is about once a week at this point. I wash my hair about once a week. But in, in the in-between time, what I do to kind of clean up this greasy mess, and it's dry shampoo. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make dry shampoo, and you need the following ingredients. Cornstarch, cocoa powder. Can you tell I like Costco? A tiny bit of baking soda. And for this one, I'm gonna put in some lavender oil because I like to be relaxed. Who doesn't like lavender? The tools you will also need include a small bowl, a little spoon, and a shot glass. And of course, something to put it in. I use these travel containers. They're silicone. I got them from the dollar store. They come in a package like this from Dollarama, two for 350. And you know what? I actually, if you're looking to use both of them, you can do today's demo and make your dry shampoo. And then I've got another demo on YouTube that uh, can help you make some at home toothpaste. So this is a great package of two, two things, two birds, one Dollarama visit. Okay, so let's make the thing. It takes just a minute to make your own dry shampoo at home, and here it is. Now I want to show you why I like these silicone things. I used to use a salt shaker, which is great too, but if you can find these, they're really great because it makes like a, see that? So a lot of dry shampoos come in an aerosol bottle, which is not good for the environment, but this kind of gives you that same puff, puff, puff. So I'll show you how it works. You just dust it on and of course if you're blonde you don't have to use as much cocoa powder and brunettes you can use a little bit more I went half and half and then you just rub it in rub it in do 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 see? see how that like right away it starts to dry up the grease in the bangs Kind of hard to do this in a mirror image. But as you brush it into the hair, you know, you don't see a bunch of dust everywhere. There, see? Grease factor of zero. And I like to go a little bit along my whole hairline and sometimes underneath here if I'm uh, wearing my hair up and it's just such a great really quick way to drop the greasy look from your hair and on a dime by the way it does not cost much for cornstarch cocoa powder and baking soda and the little hint of lavender is extra nice lavender chocolate smells like dessert 
So go ahead and download your recipe card and you can make this at home. Did you like this video? I've got two more products in this hair care series. One, we're going to find some more body. And the second, we're going to tame these crazy curls.